hey guys welcome back to my channel I am TK beauty and in today's video we are going to be decluttering a bunch of eyeshadow palettes I have the smaller palettes in front of me and then I have the larger palettes over here on the side of me so thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers I am so grateful I can't believe it I am at 400 subscribers I know that might not seem like a lot but that is a lot for me and I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the support that you guys give me on my channel so thank you guys so much so if you guys are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click that notification bell also so that you'll know every time I upload a new video so let's just jump on into this eyeshadow deep so where, where do I start y'all where do I start I'm not sure if I'm gonna swatch any of the palettes I may swatch a few but I have a lot of palettes to get through so I'm definitely gonna show you guys how they all look but I think I'm gonna start with some of my beauty supply eyeshadow palettes because I have quite a few here let's just start with Ruby Kisses I have the Ruby Kisses mint gum palette and this is how it looks this palette is absolutely gorgeous I had to have this I am keeping this the second palette I have it's also by Ruby Kisses. This is the Candy Pop eyeshadow palette. And the pops of colors are what got me. This palette is absolutely stunning. And so I'm going to be keeping this as well. The next palette I have is by Ruby Kisses. Also, this is their Cream Brulee palette. I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes by Ruby Kisses. And absolutely gorgeous. It's a neutral tone eyeshadow palette. You got your shimmer shades and stuff in here. It's absolutely beautiful. The shades blend out very nicely and it's super pigmented. So this is, like I said, one of my favorites from Ruby Kisses. So I'm gonna be keeping this. I also have the Gemstones 24 Karat Nudes by Ruby Kisses. And I love this. I wore this for a holiday look a couple of years ago. And not a couple of years ago, Jesus. Was it last year? What's this year? 24, 23. It must have been the end of 22. And I absolutely love this palette. So I am keeping this. The next palette that I have is from NK Makeup. And this is the Malibu Nights 10 color palette. I also picked this up from the beauty supply store. The colors in here, they scream spring to me and a, a beautiful nighttime look. I haven't used this yet, but I absolutely, I love the color story in this, so I'm gonna be keeping this. The last palette that I have in front of me, this is also from the beauty supply store. This is Nika K. This is the Sahara Gold 15 color palette. I love this. This is one of my favorite palettes as well and super pretty um i don't know what's happening with my shade here but this is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette i love this palette and i am going to be keeping this one so the next couple of palettes that I have in front of me. We're all over the place with these palettes. So the next palette that we have is the, the Hershey's Kisses Special Dark Mildly Sweet Chocolate Palette. This is from Glam Light. And I picked this up. I got this on clearance from TJ Maxx. And y'all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. And when I hauled this, I showed you guys that one of my shadows was kind of broken. But this is how it looks. The colors are absolutely stunning. I have not used this yet, but I love the Hersey, the her oh, no! Y'all, I'm sick. Did y'all just see my eyeshadow palette fall apart? <laughs> I'm trying to scoop up what I can. I'm trying to savage what I can, y'all. I love the detail of the Hershey Kisses in here, y'all. I'm sick, which is really pretty. That's what I get for getting some on clearance. Let me move on, but I'm keeping it. Okay, the next eyeshadow palette that I have, this is the, the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Latte Eyeshadow Palette. This is one of my favorites. I like this when I don't know what to use. I pull this out. I, I keep this in my makeup drawer on my dresser because it's one of the things that I kind of reach for every day. It's very simple, a neutral toned eyeshadow palette. I love this. I just throw these colors in my crease or on my lid and I move on about my day. So I'm absolutely keeping this. Not really sure y'all how many eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna be giving away. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard for me to, to, to give away my stuff, but you don't see. Okay, this next palette, this is the Maybelline New York Soda Pop palette. I died for this palette, y'all. I mean, I absolutely had to have this palette, and it was really for this section here. 
I'm gonna have to keep this. The next palette I have, this is the Juvia's Place, the Blushed Rose palette. I think this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I've only used this once. I don't really reach for this like that. I don't see me getting rid of this. So I'm gonna be keeping this. This is by Natasha Denona. This is the Natasha Denona Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. And you get five eyeshadows in here. I really wanted to have this, but I think I may have used this once. And I haven't really used this, so I think I'm gonna have to thinking I can really let this go. This makeup palette is from e.l.f. This is the collaboration they did with American Eagle. I absolutely love this collection because I love the denim bag that I got with this. The eyeshadow palette itself is absolutely beautiful as well. I have used this palette one time I do plan to use it more and so I am going to be keeping it in my collection because I feel like it is such a beautiful palette and I like American Eagle and I love this collection so I'm keeping this so let's jump into this tray full of stuff that we have the first thing that we have is this Natasha Denona mini bronze palette now I haven't really used this like that either I've used it maybe once or twice but I am going to be keeping this in my collection. Next palette we have is from CoverGirl. This is the True Naked Chocoholic palette. And y'all, this really does smell like chocolate. And y'all, this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I, I love this. I am going to keep this in my collection. We have two pigments here. I don't know if I showed these already. They shouldn't be in here. So these are by LA Colors. This is their ice pigment in foiled and glisten. I did haul these because I got these from Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm going to be keeping these. I need to put these in their rightful place. Some e.l.f. palettes that I have. This is the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Truffles. This is probably my favorite one from e.l.f. I love this eyeshadow palette, so I'm going to be keeping this. And then the other one that I love as well, this is in Carnival Candy. This is so pretty. You can't really see that blue in there because this brown shade is over it, but this is so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this, I'm keeping this. Let's talk some Dollar Tree palettes that I have. I did recently haul all of these. So all of these are from LA Colors. LA Colors just came out with their Mad For You collection, and I got three eyeshadow palettes. I got Cherry Tart, Mad Hatter, and I got Tea Party, and I'm keeping all of these. I'm just showing them to you guys so you can see them. This is Cherry Tart. This is Mad Hatter. And this is Tea Party. Again, we are keeping those. And then I got this uh, LA Colors Just Vibin' Eyeshadow in Feeling Good. Again, Dollar Tree. And I am keeping this one as well. And then I do have the Moody Neutrals eyeshadow palette. This is from Beauty Intuition. I don't know about this one, honestly, y'all. I'm not that impressed with the matte shades in here. And I mean, for $1.25, how impressed should I be? But I should be a little bit more impressed than what I am. I may actually give this away. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe style. Next, I have the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit eyeshadow palette. The packaging on here is gorgeous. So this is it here. I am going to keep this because I do like this eyeshadow palette. All right, so we got a couple of Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palettes in here. I think I, I have a total of four Fenty shadows. I have three and seven, nine and 10. Let's look at number three first. By the way, I like the Fenty eyeshadows, but I will say I don't use them like that. This is number three, really pretty, gorgeous color story here so I'm keeping this one and then number seven here I, this is probably like one of my favorite ones because of just the color story how it looks so I'm definitely keeping this and then nine I'm wondering because nine and three they're similar but they're different but I have not used number nine at all and I probably picked it up for that purple in the middle they're different but I almost feel like I could really give away number nine because you guys can see I don't use that but I like that purple shade in the middle I'll be sick if I give this away I'm gonna keep it for now I can't part ways with this just cannot let this go and then oh 
I think number 10 is also a favorite of mine because of the greens in here. So I'm gonna be keeping that. And then I have the Makeup by Mario Glam Quads Bronze Glam Palette. And I got this on sale from Sephora. This is my first Makeup by Mario palette. And I thought this was really, really cute. And I'm keeping this. This is so pretty on the eyes. Yeah, I'm keeping this. I have another beauty supply store eyeshadow palette. This is by NK Makeup. This is the Autumn Spice palette. Absolutely beautiful. We are keeping. Okay, this is the Juvia's Place, the Rebel Grays. Oh my goodness, y'all. This packaging, absolutely gorgeous. These are the shades here. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this palette because I think I have a gray tone palette but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that we'll see but I definitely want to keep this because it's really small because I don't really kind of use gray tones like that so I'm gonna keep this one. I have the I Love Sarah He I think that's the name by Dose of Colors. The packaging on here is absolutely gorgeous. These are the shades here. I've had this in my collection for a while but honestly y'all I cannot part ways with this because I think this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I don't reach for this like that, but we're going to be keeping her. Next, I have some MAC shadows. I just had to have it because I green is probably my other favorite color. But these are the colors here. Really, really pretty. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be keeping this. Even though I have not used this like that, I'm still keeping it because I know I'm going to be using it at some point. Oh my goodness, I died for this too. This is the Maybelline, the City Mini Palette by Makeup Shayla. I'm keeping this just off the basis of it's Makeup Shayla because I absolutely love her and I love purple and she is also a fellow Virgo. Like I said, I love Makeup Shayla and I love this little palette. So I'm going to just keep this. Look at the back of this. Speaking of Makeup Shayla, she also did a collab with Dose of Colors and this is her Wifey eyeshadow palette and the packaging is really pretty but the colors are stunning as well and i am going to be keeping this in my collection the next seven eyeshadow palettes we're going to be talking about are the small huda beauty eyeshadow palettes y'all it's going to be hard for me to part ways with any of these but let's see first one is the wild chamulon palette i haven't used this or maybe i've used this once but these are the colors I absolutely love this and this. That's why I picked it up in this one. I haven't done much with this palette, but the packaging is beautiful. I do plan to use it, so I'm gonna be keeping it. I think this was my very first Huda Beauty palette that I bought, the small one. This is the Electric Obsessions palette. Child, I thought I was getting ready to do something with some color. That's how the packaging looks. I've not done anything with this, but the colors are absolutely stunning and I'm going to use it. I'm going to try to play around with a little bit more color this year, so I'm going to be keeping this. Okay, one of my favorite palettes by Huda Beauty is the Ruby Obsessions palette. Y'all, this palette is so gorgeous. I, when I first got this, I was using this to death. Look at these jewel tone colors. Beautiful, yes. I am keeping. The next palette that I really love too is the Nude Rich palette. First of all, I love this packaging, this crocodile on, on the front of this. But the colors are stunning. I have used this palette to no end. I really, really like this, so I'm keeping her as well. And then another palette that I like from Huda Beauty is the Khaki Haze palette. It's really pretty. I've used this a lot as well, so I'm gonna be keeping her. And then the last two palettes from Huda Beauty, I have the Caramel Brown and the Toffee Brown palettes, and the packaging is really, really pretty. The Caramel Brown, I've used this one. I do like this one more than I like the other one, so I'm gonna be keeping this one. And then this one is the Toffee Brown. Now, I like the color story of this one. I did do an eyeshadow palette with this look, no. I did do a makeup tutorial with this look and I really had to build up this yellow shade and that's why I bought it because I saw, I want to say her name was Maya Galore use this one. Her makeup came out so beautiful and I said I gotta get that one and but it was just, it's hard to work 
work with this one. Yeah, I'm keeping it because I'm gonna just work with it because I really do like this color story. So that was all of the eyeshadow palettes that was in this organizer. Okay, so let's do the next set of eyeshadow palettes. So let's talk about Rudolph here, okay? This is by ColourPop. This was their Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collection and I thought the packaging of this was super cute and it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. These are the colors on the back. Really pretty. But I'm gonna tell y'all something. I did a makeup tutorial using this palette. Baby Rudolph was a disappointment. This shade right here, I'm still trying to build up the shade right here. I've got to get this out of my collection because I am not going to use this again. As beautiful as this packaging is, as much as I love Rudolph, Rudolph got to go. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Y'all, I love the packaging of this. This is just so beautiful. It's definitely smells like chocolate, but the shades in here are absolutely gorgeous. Now, I will say when I first got this, I may have used this maybe a few times, but since then I have not used this. But is she going anywhere? She is not. She's, we are keeping. We're keeping her because we, we, we're planning to get some more use out of her. So this is a keep. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance Palette. And I actually, I love the color story of this. The, the color story, it's not bad. It's beautiful. I think I'm living for this pop of purple that they have. But I, I, I really will say this is not a favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette for me. And if I hadn't have just bought this last year, this palette would be getting out of my collection as well. But I am going to try to give this some more use. I don't love it like I love some of the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that I have. But it's okay. I'm going to keep her for now. But maybe the next declutter she's probably gonna be getting out of here too so we're gonna see how much we can we're filling her this year and if we're not we're gonna have to let her go i also have the anastasia beverly hills nueva nuevo palette and y'all i love the texture of the packaging and honestly i like the color story here as well because the shadows are really pretty and it's not something that i would have kind of put together but I mean, the looks actually come together. I really do like this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be keeping this. Urban Decay, Born to Run. Y'all already know the packaging alone has me because y'all know I love to travel and this is travel theme packaging. I love it, I love it, I love it. But not only do I love the packaging, I actually love the eyeshadow palette because this was something different for Urban Decay they gave us all of the colors and it is one of my favorite palettes from Urban Decay. I am going to be keeping this eyeshadow palette. I do have a NARS palette. This is the NARS Extreme Effects palette. I will say NARS palettes for me, mm, but this one's pretty though. I can't give away NARS. This is the NARS palette. I'm turning down the light so you guys can kind of see the true colors. I'm keeping, okay? I'm keeping. Let me change my battery because this is about to die. All right, I'm back, y'all. Got a new battery. So I got another NARS palette here. This is the NARS Skin Deep palette. This is really pretty too. I don't really reach for this like that, but I don't see me giving this away because NARS is not cheap. So, and this is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. It's really nice and, and soft and subtle. You can achieve a really soft look with this. So I am gonna be keeping this as well. This is the Bobbi Brown High Bar Eyeshadow Palette. Love the packaging. This is my only Bobbi Brown palette, but this is absolutely beautiful. I love this eyeshadow palette. And I saw Hilo Lux using this in a video some time ago and it made me want to get it. So I was able to order this from Nordstrom's Rack at a very, very good, good cost. So I love this palette. I'm so glad that I picked it up because I love it. So I'm going to be keeping this. Next we have Jackie Ina by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And y'all know I love the packaging of this. The iridescentness of this is really pretty, but the colors in here are absolutely stunning. I do pull this out to use it every now and again, but I'm absolutely keeping this in my collection. Love this palette. Speaking of Jackiana, is anybody interested in getting her perfume? I'm interested in going in the store and smelling it to see what it smells like. And maybe if I like it, just getting a travel size of that. So let me know 
what you guys are thinking in terms of her perfume. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette. I love the packaging of this as well. Love the texture of it, y'all. I love this one even more than the Nuevo palette because this one is absolutely beautiful. I feel like, yes, this kind of screams fall. I feel like this can scream every day as well. And I love this palette, y'all. I'm so glad that I picked this up and I'm keeping it. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. This is probably my favorite from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this, y'all. Like I always tell y'all, my stuff is coming apart here, okay? This, I'm, she's falling apart. <laughs> but out of all of them, I know for sure I would repurchase this. This is absolutely stunning. You could create a beautiful, sultry look, a soft look, whatever you want kind of look, you can achieve it with this palette. So they did their thing with this palette and I am keeping her as messy as she is, she's staying in this collection. Back to Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. I think I just love the packaging of this. I have not used this eyeshadow palette at all, but the colors are absolutely gorgeous. I feel like for going on vacation or, you know, going to the beach or staycation, something like that, this palette absolutely screams vacation. And I'm not taking it on not one vacation I've gone on, but I am going to be keeping her in my collection because I do plan to get some use out of her. Okay, I don't know why I have a blush in here, but this is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush, Volume 1. I don't know if I showed this in my blush, blush declutter. Obviously not, because she in here. Uh, but these are the blushes from Juvia's Place. They are absolutely gorgeous, super pigmented. Let me turn this light down so you guys can really see. Very, very pigmented, so I'm keeping this, So, but this is in the wrong spot, so I gotta put her where she belongs. I do have another Nika K eyeshadow palette. This is the Jungle Haze palette. Oh, this is one of my favorites as well. I absolutely love the color story of this. I do believe I used it in a vlog or something, but I really like this palette and I'm keeping it. Let's talk Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona, she's not the only brand in my collection, but she's one of a few brands in my collection that I don't really use her stuff like that. So I have three of her eyeshadow palettes. But this is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. It's pretty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna really use this though. I'm gonna put that to the side to think about it. I'm gonna put that in a maybe pal. I also have the Natasha Denona Retro palette. Now I have used this one. This one is a cool tone eyeshadow palette. I like it. So I mean, this one is fairly new within the last couple of years. So I am for sure gonna keep this one. And then I have the Natasha Denona bronze palette this one is gorgeous y'all I'm definitely keeping this one because it's absolutely gorgeous so I have two Huda Beauty palettes in front of me or two more anyway this is the Huda Beauty rose gold palette remastered now if you guys have watched some of my other makeup declutters you you guys know I've struggled with whether or not I'm gonna keep this palette and it's another Huda Beauty palette in my collection when we get to that one I'll let you guys know but I have gotten use out of this one last year. I started to use my palette. I do like it, and so I am going to keep this in my collection. Another Huda Beauty palette is the new Nude palette, and I will say I absolutely love this palette. I don't really use this palette as much, but I do love how this looks but I don't really reach for this like that, but this is definitely soft glam or bridal glam type of palette. And so I am gonna be keeping this in my collection because like I say, I do like this palette. I just don't use it like that, but I will start using it like that. I have the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette. I absolutely wanted this eyeshadow palette when it came out. I just feel like you cannot go wrong with this palette. This is probably the only BH Cosmetic palette that I have in my collection at this point so I'm gonna be keeping this one the colors are really pretty they're beautiful and so I'm gonna be keeping this one all right I have the perception palette this is by Shayla by Colourpop oh I love the packaging on this y'all when I got this palette I absolutely loved this palette absolutely gorgeous and guess what I'm not gonna be able to part with this one I'm gonna be keeping her 
Then I have the palette from Absolute New York. This is the Metropolitan Vibes. And y'all, I died for this palette. I saw this on Brie Marie's channel and went, I ended up making a trip to Sam's Beauty because first of all, Sam's Beauty has all of the things. And this was one of the eyeshadow palettes when she had did a haul from Sam's that I absolutely wanted. I have not used this palette at all, but it is a gorgeous palette. And I, am going to be keeping this palette because I do want to get some use out of it. I have the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. I don't know because I like this palette. I don't really use this palette. I feel like for me, if I really want this, I will repurchase it. But at this time, I think I'm gonna give this away because I don't really use this. All right, a new palette in my collection. This is from Ace Beauté. This is Tropical Vibes palette. And this is my very first palette from them, but they definitely have some other palettes that I would love to get at some point. But these are the colors. Aren't these colors gorgeous? Look at the shade right here. I gotta swatch this for y'all. That's such a gorgeous shade. I cannot wait to use this palette. These colors are right up my alley and I'm glad I picked this up. Then I have the Tarte Man Eater palette. I love the packaging on this. I definitely got some use out of this. I do like this. I am going to be keeping it. This is the Glam Light Barbie uh, Dream Summer palette. Now I wasn't planning or expecting to pick this up at all. The packaging is really pretty. The only thing that made me pick it up is because it was on clearance at TJ Maxx and the shades are really pretty because they have a lot of pinks and purples in there, which is right up my alley. And so I went on ahead and picked it up. The color story is really beautiful. Look at these palettes. I mean, it's just a, such a colorful paradise, okay? So I can't wait to use this palette and I'm happy that I was able to get this on clearance. Um, so I'm gonna be keeping this. Okay, a palette that I picked up off of Amazon. This is the Supreme Seductress Prism Makeup Palette. The, the color story is pretty. I'm not necessarily sure if this is my favorite palette. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pal right now because I have so many neutral tone palettes I'm gonna I'm just gonna put this in a maybe pal right now I have the colored rain Queen of Hearts palette y'all this is one of my favorite palettes but I love this palette oh I died for this palette y'all oh my goodness these colors are very beautiful to me let me swatch this one for you guys because that's pretty Look how pretty that is, y'all. Oh my God, y'all, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch one more. Let's watch this one right here. I swatched this one for you guys. Um, y'all, look how gorgeous that is. Uh, I mean, she ain't going nowhere. She is staying here with me. These are some Anastasia Beverly Hill eyeshadow. And this is my Z palette from Sephora. I am going to be keeping these. Now, I do need to clean this out because it's very dirty. I still love these shades. And so I am going to keep this. I have the KKW by Mario palette. And my packaging is dirty, um, but the, this palette is absolutely beautiful. I live for this blue shade here. I do use this every now and again, so I am going to keep this in my collection. The other Hutter Beauty palette is the Desert Dusk palette. This is a beautiful palette as well. Uh-oh, I'm messing myself up here. This is a beautiful palette as well. And like I said, I have been getting some use out of my palettes. So I am going to keep this in my collection. So the next palette I have, this is also from ABH. This is the Ver Norvina collection. And I got this also on clearance from TJ Maxx. And this is not a palette that I would typically go for but I've decided to go ahead and give it a try. Y'all, I have been using the mess out of this eyeshadow palette. It's something that when you don't know what to wear, you just pull this out. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Like I said, even though it's not typically the color story I would go for, I absolutely love this palette and I'm keeping it. This is the other Colored Rain eyeshadow palette that I have. This is the Safari Rain palette. I love the packaging on here. These are the colors 
here. Absolutely stunning. So I did use this once. I tried to film a makeup tutorial and it was a fail. So I'll have to use this again at some point in a makeup tutorial. But I am keeping this palette. So this is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. Um. I've really had high hopes for this palette. I like it, I don't love it, honestly. The colors in here are absolutely beautiful though, but it's not one of my favorites. I just, I have to really say, okay, I'm gonna use this today. And so I'm gonna have to force myself a little bit more to use it this year just to see how, why I'm not really drawn to this like that because this is absolutely beautiful this is me in a palette but i don't gravitate towards this like that because they have another palette that they came out with right after this one and i feel like that one is probably more up my alley but i'm gonna be keeping this one because uh it is a beautiful palette i just need to get more use out of it one of my favorite palettes of all time this is the sephora pro palette this is their Warms palette. This has been in my collection so long. She is never leaving. But this is such a beautiful palette. Look at this palette, y'all. I mean, this is everything you need in a palette. Like, I could throw away, I, I won't do this, but I could throw away all of my other palettes. And this will just keep me every day, seriously. So. I'm keeping her. Sephora did that with this. I don't know why they stopped selling these, but I, I wish they would bring this back. That's the only way that I would repurchase this is if they brought it back so I could repurchase it and have a fresh one. Outside of that, this is never, she's never leaving. So I love this. This next eyeshadow palette, this is from LA Girl. This is their Sun Kiss Glow palette. Oh, look at these colors. This is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Y'all, I've used this so much. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette from LA Color. Love this palette and I'm keeping it. Okay, the next couple of palettes are from Cara Beauty. Now, I wanna say I picked these up from Marshalls, but again, this is another brand in my collection that is least used. So I know I'm not gonna keep all of these, but let's start with this uh, gray one back here. This is the uh, Cara Beauty Goddess Nim palette. And I picked this up because I was lying to myself saying that I was gonna use more, you should use more gray tones, you should get it, you know? And I have not used this palette at all, have not reached for it, but I feel like this would be a good complement to the Juvia's Place one. We'll come back to this one in a minute. Then I have the You Had Me at Aloha eyeshadow palette, which this is pretty, but I'm more inclined to keep this, but I feel like I have a lot of colored eyeshadow palettes in my collection, so I am going to let this go because I have not reached for this one at all. And then I have the Gentle Teaser palette, which I picked up because it has all of the neutral tones and stuff. Look how pretty this is. This is really pretty. If I'm gonna keep one, it's probably going to be, probably gonna be this one because I feel like I would get the most use out of this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably keep this one. But again, this is the Juvia's Place palette. I don't think I have any more gray anywhere. So I don't know. Let me see what's in here. Oh, I got that, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this away too because I'm not gonna reach for this. I'm not, so I'm gonna let this one go as well. Okay, the next palette I have, this is a recent purchase. Um, this is by Perfusion Cosmetics. This is the Adventures palette. They actually have another one that I would like to get. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lay low right now, but this is really pretty and I love their brushes too. So I am absolutely keeping this. Another palette that I have, which is an absolute favorite of mine, is the NYX Ultra. Ultimate Utopia palette. Y'all, this is by far my favorite NYX palette as well. They did a great job with this palette. There's nothing else that I really need. And you get pops of color in here, which is why I really like this. I am going to be keeping this palette. Next up, we have Beauty Bay's Rich Rich palette. When I saw, I saw uh, makeup by Tammy using this on her TikTok. And I was like, I don't know what palette that is, but honey, I need it. So that's why I got this. The colors in here, child, you don't need another brown in your life, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. I have not used this palette yet, but I cannot wait to use it. It's absolutely gorgeous and we are keeping her. Okay guys, we got a couple more palettes to go. I have the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright eyeshadow palette, and this is Enrich Life. Y'all, 
I love this palette. Like, this reminds me of the Jaqueline Hill palette, but it's just, it's so pretty. Now, I will say some of these shades in here are not as pigmented like some of these. Um, but outside of that, the other ones are really, really pretty and I cannot part ways with this palette, so I'm going to be keeping this. Speaking of Jaqueline Hill, I have two of her palettes here. I have the Jaqueline Hill palette, uh, of course by Morphe, and then I have the Jaqueline Hill palette volume two. Out of my, out of the two of these, this is my favorite. You guys can see the colors on the back here. When I got this palette, y'all, I mean, I use this thing, okay? I use this thing. Y'all can see this is similar to the Patricia Bright palette. This is the Jaqueline Hill one. So there are some similarities here, but there are some differences as well, but. I'm keeping both of them nonetheless. But the Jaqueline Hill palette, y'all, I love this palette. I just feel like you you could do anything with this palette. Um, so I'm going to be keeping this. I'm talking like I'm not going to be keeping the other one because I'm going to keep that one too. The Jaqueline Hill Volume 2 palette. It is my least used, but I bought this one because of the pinks and the purples and stuff in here. But... I'm going to keep this as well because I do see me reaching for this um, this year. Let's talk Juvia's Place for a minute. I got quite a few Juvia's Place palettes in front of me. The first one is the Coffee Shop palette, which the packaging on here is gorgeous. I mean, they did their thing with this palette. I love this palette. I've used it over and over again. It took me some time to start using this, but once I did, honey, this is it here. We're keeping her. Okay, the next palette that I have here, this is the Warrior by Juvia's Place palette. And I bought this palette because a makeup artist did my makeup a couple of years ago, and this was the palette that she used, and I had to have it. I ain't been able to recreate the look she did for me. Let me show y'all. This is the look that the makeup artist did on me when she used this palette. And actually the lip combo is from the lip bar. It's the Curl Friend and it's another shade. I have to put the name of the shade on the screen, but this is how the makeup look turned out. It was really pretty and I love my faux locks. That's how it looks. And I just love the look and this was the palette that she used, and that's why I bought it. Um, and I do really love this eyeshadow palette. I've used it time and time again, so I'm gonna be keeping this. The next palette we have is the Warrior II by Juvia's Place. Again, their packaging, it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this all matte palette. I have used this over and over again as well, so I'm gonna be keeping this. The next palette I have by Juvia's Place, this is the Nomads by Juvia's Place. And again, the packaging is gorgeous. Y'all know I'm living for these shades, and I've used this not a whole lot, but I have used this before and I am going to be keeping this because I just love this color story. Next two palettes are the Juvia's Place, the Culture 1 palette, and then the Culture 2 palette. Here you can see the difference in the, the artwork that they have on here. Okay, so for Culture 1, these are the colors here, which are really pretty. They're beautiful, it's colorful. Of course, we're keeping it. Then for Culture 2, these are the shades here. Again, it's colorful, but colorful in a different kind of way. It's a difference in how they look. I'm keeping them both. And then I do have the LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay eyeshadow palette this is what the back looks like now I don't know I don't think I've used this I think I'm keeping this because of the packaging because I think it says hey hey vacay I think that's the only reason why I'm keeping this I mean the colors are really pretty but I really haven't used this eyeshadow palette and I think the shimmer shades are really pretty I'm gonna keep this for now all right let's get into Pat McGrath because I got quite a few Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. And as much as I love Pat McGrath, I don't use my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes like that. This is another brand that I don't gravitate to the eyeshadow palettes like I thought I was going to. And Pat is expensive, okay? Let's start with the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. When she came out with this, y'all, I'm like, 
got to have it. I got to have it. But when I tell y'all I've used this eyeshadow palette one time, the colors are gorgeous. They're beautiful. But I don't run to this. I just don't. And um, I'm going to have to just, again, force myself to start using that McGrath, pulling her out. So I am keeping this because I paid good coin for this palette. So I'm keeping. The next palette that I have, this is the, the Mothership Divine Rose 2. These are the colors. Again, beautiful beautiful shades but i'm just i'm not drawn to it i mean but beautiful look at that that's absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna have to i think i'm gonna start using this one i'm gonna leave this on my dresser or something so that i can use this first because i need to get some use out of this and the last two eyeshadow palettes that i have are pat mcgrath and i bought this one first and i just i died for this y'all um this is the bronze ambition palette i mean it's so pretty y'all this one is a neutral tone palette it's gorgeous i think i've used this maybe once or twice and the colors are gorgeous but i am gonna keep it because again i'm gonna force myself to get use out of these palettes and if i don't this time around around I'm letting them go and then the last palette is the La Vie in Rose eyeshadow palette I don't know that's the name of it right there La Vie in Rose palette and this I got because of that purple shade oh my god this is so gorgeous isn't that gorgeous I cannot let this go so I'm keeping it Okay, I just have to force myself to use it. I think that's all of my eyeshadow palettes, guys. So let's go back and talk about the ones that I said are maybes. Okay, before we talk about the maybes, I have so far six eyeshadow palettes that I'm giving away. What are we going to be doing with these? I think for me, honestly, I'm going to let this one go as well. So that's seven palettes because I'm not in love with this like I thought I was going to be. And so it's a neutral tone palette. I'm not short on neutral tone palettes in my collection. And plus you guys know I'm thinking about getting that Patrick Ta neutral tones palette. So yeah, I can part ways with this one. And then the Moody Neutrals palette. I'm just, I'm kind of underwhelmed by this palette. And for $1.25, I mean, I'm going to let this go as well. So that's eight palettes that we are letting go of. going to let those eight eyeshadow palettes go. So I think that's pretty good. I don't think that's terrible. And I am pleased with what I have gotten rid of. So in my next vlog, I will definitely show you guys how everything is organized and set up. Thank you guys so much for watching this eyeshadow palette declutter video with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel to comment Comment down below I love to hear from you guys and to thumbs up this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys